I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. This is a nice quick morning sequence that you can do to help you feel more at ease, less grumpy in the joints and the body overall, and then of course more at balance. Okay. We're gonna have our feet started hip width distance apart on the mat, okay? Always spread your toes if you can. I like to start my morning practice where I'm rocking up and down, okay? As a registered acupuncturist, I always like to add a little bit of Chinese medicine principles with my yoga practice. So that means I'm gonna be adding a little bit of Qigong moves with yoga. So let's go ahead and rock up and down. Okay, so as a side profile, look, I'm going up and down. So you need to find what's best for you, and you'll notice that just doing these little mini motions, well, they're kind of activating quite significantly into my calves and into my toes. So spread the toes, and then go ahead and keep on breathing. Now we're gonna add arms. Breathing in and out, in and out in and out. Okay, I've had enough of that. What about you? We're going to shake these out. Perfect. Now, with your feet more than hip width distance apart, spread them nice and wide. Take your arms all the way up. Inhale here, touch. Exhale, take your hands to the heart. Good. Take your hands down. Breathing in all the way up to the chest. Exhale, soft. So we're going to gather chi down here at the Dantian our energy center, breathing in, and I want you to be soft and start to move and soften into the knees. Good, breathing in, lifting up, and exhale, breathing out. Our intention for the day is to find a little more ease, less discomfort, and of course, we're gonna connect breath with movement to help us to do this, to facilitate this ease. We're gonna inhale here, Exhale down, one more breath, in and out. Now I would like you to take the arms up, breathing in and push all the way up to the heavens. Breathe out, inhale here, reach on up, look up, and then exhale, soft, 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 soft hands. Breathe out, okay, again, breathing in, when you get up to the chest area, you're gonna push out, breathe out, up to the heavens. So root the feet into the ground and push up to the sky. Inhale here, and then exhale, soft, soft, soft. Everything comes down. Good, again, breathing in. Exhale, breathe out, push, feet into the ground, hands up to the heavens, inhale, and then exhale, soft. Can we do one more? Breathing in. Exhale, push, breathe out. In, and then exhale, soft. So if you're ever experiencing, or maybe right now, some grumpiness, we're gonna take in this beautiful energy all the way up and envelop ourselves and then cascade it out. So I want you to imagine you're kind of taking in a nice sweater, wrapping it around yourself, and then whatever residual grumpy stuff, you're gonna cross the arms and then take the palms up and push that grumpiness away. Breathe out, okay? Let's do this with a little bit of a bend of a knee. Breathing in, enveloping us with love and then pushing out any sort of grumpiness out of our bodies, okay? Again, enveloping. And then lifting up our chest, expanding and removing the grumpiness. Good. One more time. Breathing in and out. Okay, sorry, I lied. Let's do a few more because this feels so good. And out. We have to do three more at least. Breathe in and out. Last one. Breathing in and out perfect okay let's widen the stance a little bit more so making sure you're comfortable i'm going to soften the knees a little take the arms out inhale here and then exhale sway to the side okay so we're going to kind of we're going to 
stretch into this hip, stretch into the intercostal spaces of our legs, breathe here. Good, tight belly, come on up. Inhale, and then exhale, sway to the other side. Good, same thing principle here. We're gonna stretch into the hip, stretch into the intercostals, keep on breathing. Good, come on back up, breathe in and out. Perfect, in and out. Awesome, inhaling, exhaling, in and out. Now, not uh, making sure your knees are not locked, we're gonna come up, breathe in, soften the knees, and this time taking your left hand to the opposite leg, breathe out. And where does the other hand go? Up for a high five to the side. Okay, if the arm isn't hurting you, take the hand to the hip. That's okay too. Okay, tight belly, come on up, chest up, back straight. Right hand goes to the opposite leg, the left leg, arm up, high five to the sky over here, to the side, or hand on the hip. Your choice, your yoga. Good, tight belly, breathing in, we're gonna do that again. Breathe out. Soft knees, breathing in, chest up, breathe out. Tight belly as you come up, breathing in and out. Good, in, tight belly, and out with the breath. Always inhaling as you come up and out. In, you got it, and out. Well done, breathe in and then come forward full, breathe out. Okay, now making sure the toes are facing the front, bend the knees here. Take your hands down to the mat if they're reaching there. If not, go ahead and grab a prop or a block if you need it. You'll notice I'm bending my knees and I'm sticking my butt out to the back. Good, stick it out and then now lift the tailbone up to the sky and look behind you. Good, we're gonna bend again. Down, sitting into like a little bit of a squat and then back up, breathe out, look behind, relax the neck. Good, inhaling, looking up. Kind of like a little froggy pose and then looking back. So down into that squat, supported squat, inhaling and exhaling. <sighs> nice little stretch in the back of the hamstrings here, breathing in and out, <sighs> looking behind. And last two, breathe in and out, in and out, looking back. Good, from here, I'd like you to bend into the right knee, straightening the left leg. Good, find your best spot. So I'm gonna widen my stance because this feels a little bit more comfortable for me. And if you're feeling a little bit of grumpiness in the front of the knees, that means you're spending too much space in the front space. We need to root ourselves back. So more weight into the back side and into the heel. Good, from here, root the feet down, and let's go to the other side. Straightening up that right leg and bending into this left leg. Again, weight is in the heel and in the back side here. Root those sits bones to the back. Good, other side. Again, I'm breathing as I'm doing this. Finding a nice stretch, allowing yoga, and qigong, find myself to be less grumpy and more in balance. Good, now with that same philosophy of having your feet rooted into the ground, your heels pressed deeply, your sits bones into the back space, I want you to start to sway from side to side. So you're gonna need to engage your belly muscles a little from side to side. You got it, keep on breathing. Back and forth. I always like to use this visualization of my fingers as though they're like seaweed in the ocean. That resistance flowing from side to side. Again, weight in the heels, weight in the back. Good, keep on breathing, side to side. Finding your breath 
using your breath to help you to manage your practice. Do a few more of these. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going. You can go slower. It's actually more challenging to go slower. So I want you to try it. What does it feel like to go nice and slow? Every little part of the body has to really concentrate on what it's doing. You got it. Good. Now I want you to come all the way up. All the way up. Inhale and then exhale. Good. Take a breath here. Take your hands down. Breathing in. One more breath in and out. Okay. Toe heel your feet back in. Do, 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 back to center. Well done. I want you to go ahead and find yourself down on the mat in a comfortable seated position. Okay? We're going to sit in Sukhasana, easy sitting pose, where the left foot is in front of the right. So I'm mirroring you. Left foot in front of the right. Both sits ones are down onto the ground, shoulders on top of the waist. Let's go ahead and see, do a seated cow pose here. Breathe in. Exhale, seated cat. Good. Inhale, open up the chest, roll the shoulders back and down, tailbone sticks out, and then we round our backs, chin comes into the chest, and our belly is going to the back. You got it. Again, breathing in and out. Now, come on back into neutral spine, and we're going to do these little rotations moving as though we're going into little mini cow pose here and a little cat pose, okay? Cow and cat pose. A couple more of these, keep on breathing in and out. It's really nice for the waist, helps into the lower back and the hips. Beautiful, from here, I want you to come back to center, lift all your chest up, breathe in here, take your body flat as a board forward. And once you start to feel something into that hip, into that space, into that fascia that wraps around the hip here, ooh, right into that hip space, I want you to round your upper back and melt forward. So nice and slow, come on down, melt here. I want you to relax your face, Relax your breath and breathe in and out. Inhaling, exhaling, breathing in and out. Well done. With a nice tight belly to come out of this pose, you need to tighten your belly muscles and slowly press yourself up. Ooh, great. Bring your knees together. Go ahead and take your feet in front of you and give yourself a little shake. Okay, a little shakey, shakey, shake. And then let's switch our feet to the opposite side. Okay, so I'm sitting in Sukhasana, easy sitting pose on the other side to do the same thing, cow pose and cat. Again, cow and cat. Cow and cat. Do you remember what we did after this? We did rotating mini cows and little mini cats. Okay, little mini cow and little mini cats. Ooh, this feels so good on this side for me. You'll notice that every side of the body is a little bit more grumpy than the other side. And gosh, this, this side is really grumpy. I really needed this. My body's like, thank you, thank you, right now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna rotate the other way. Mini cow, mini cat. Is everybody breathing? Don't hold your breath, please. Every time we're connecting breath with movement. Sometimes it feels good to just close your eyes in these postures. Just do them with the rhythm of your breath. And it helps you to deepen into the practice. 
Okay, last one here. Good. And back to center. Next, tight belly, chest up, back straight. We're gonna hinge at the waist, hinge at the hips here. And then once you find that, oosh, you're feeling something into that outer hip, we're gonna go ahead and round the upper back and melt forward. I want you to close your eyes if you can, soften the breath and breathe here. Inhaling, exhaling, in, out, one more breath, in, and out. Okay, nice tight belly, come on up, nice and slow, so tighten your belly muscles, peel yourself back up. Well done. Help your knees back up to center, take your feet in front of you, hip width distance apart, take your fingertips behind you now, and I'd like you to do some windshield wipers, back and forth. Okay, so swing from side to side, nice and easy. Don't hold your breath as you do this, okay? Some nice little stretches into the hips, into the psoas. Are you breathing? Okay, now we're gonna hold it in one spot. So I want you to hold it here, and then you're just gonna breathe. Find a nice comfortable position and breathe. Inhaling, exhaling. Of course, if you want more in this posture, you can always expand and expand the legs further away from each other. But with this morning practice, maybe we're just not ready to do that. We just want to ease into this just to feel good for the rest of the day. Okay, so we're going to come on back up. So tight, tight um, belly here and bring your knees up and then relax the belly. Let's go to the other side. I'm just going to readjust myself, feeling comfortable. And my body's asking me to adjust, adjust, open this up a little bit. We're gonna relax here, a few breaths, breathing in and out. You should be feeling it right into this space. Everybody feels it in different parts, depending on how tight or loose you are. We're just gonna close our eyes maybe for one more breath to enjoy, deepen into the stretch, breathe in. And breathe out. Well done. Okay, I'm gonna scooch my legs and feet back closer together and then bring my knees back up and then go ahead and take my feet in front of myself. So I'm gonna give myself a little pat. Okay, and shake. And then I'm gonna turn myself around here. Okay, sitting nice and tall for Pashimottasana. Forward fold while seated, arms are gonna come up. Okay, so as you do this, I'd like you to bend your knees because most likely your hamstrings are very tight. So this is gonna help. If you need to sit on a cushion, please do that or a nice blanket. Bend the knees slightly, take the arms all the way up, hinge at the waist as you had done before. And once you start to feel that feeling underneath into your hamstrings, then I want you to draw Around the upper back, maybe draw the belly in a little, depending on how much extra we have around here, so that you can get a little more oomph forward fold here, and then I want you to melt, okay? So we're gonna soften here. I want you to wiggle the toes. I want you to relax the face. And when we're in these forward folds, I want you to make sure that you're never pulling, tugging, or bouncing in this posture. There's many times where you can actually, if you pull and you're super tight, you can actually give yourself sciatica. So we don't want to do that. We want to have a good morning. So if this is our morning practice, we're going to start the morning softening, melting, and relaxing here. So I want you to imagine yourself as you're an ice cube and you're softening and melting on that hot summer day, softening for five, four, no jumping, no bouncing, no pulling. Three, keep on breathing. Two, melty, melty. And one, well done. Tight belly. Engage your belly muscles, press yourself up. Oh, well done here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go open up my chest here. Fingertips are facing the front. I'm gonna open up my heart a little. 
open up my chest, open up my shoulders, and then I'm gonna release. We're gonna scoot ourselves forward and then melt all the way down onto our backs to close our practice. <sighs> Closing our practice in Shavasana is a wonderful way to reconnect, making sure you have that mind, body, breath connection, and it really kind of just solidifies all of the practice that you've done so that you may have a wonderful day. So you've set the intention to be more at ease, a little less grumpy in the joints and the body. Now ask yourself, did the physical practice help me to release some tension out of the mind, out of the body? I want you to close your eyes now. Soften your face. Relax your mouth, your cheeks, your shoulders. See if you can melt into your mat or your floor. Soaking in all of that goodness. If you can be found in a quiet, still position so that you may soak in the benefits of your practice this morning. Inhaling. Inhaling. I wish you a wonderful day, everyone. Hands to the heart. Namaste.